Backstage at Hollywood Sports Championship 2022, guys, welcome. You look stunning. Uh, okay, whom are you excited to see tonight? How did you dress up? So many questions all at once, guys. Thank you so much. And you go first. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> we are super excited to be here. We had to get kitted out because it's the Hollywood Dance Court Championship. So we got to look like we're from Hollywood, right? And I will interrupt you here. I was wondering because you travel so much. Are you carrying with? Are you carrying it with you, or or you buying all the clothes like all all locally? We carrying it with us. We live out of the suitcase. Uh, we have all seasons, all occasions, all outfits ready to go. Yeah, we plan in advance a little bit, but of course, here and there, a little shopping sometimes. <laughs> yeah, so that's how we do. <laughs> Listen guys, last night performance was amazing, and I remember you from last year, I remember you from dancing uh, open at, U at USDC. You still managed to develop, obviously. How do you do it traveling so much, really, because you travel like every week? competitions all the season how do you do it well uh, basically our life based around the uh, dancing and improvement and even every competition we do we do it also like to improve and trying to perform better and better at every comp and uh, we just uh, got used to pushing ourselves every day and getting out of the comfort zone and the one thing that we stay true is consistency no matter where we are no matter how we feel no matter how jet lag we go to the studio and we do the work yeah we never miss a day that's it that is the key what if, what if you feel terrible even better go to the studio because then you're probably going to feel good yes. yes and then you're going to feel better the hardest part is get your ass in the studio yeah. sorry the hardest part is beep <laughs> the hardest part is to get to the studio. Once you're there, you put great music on, you have an amazing partner, you stand up and you just go for it. It's really? just getting there, that's the difficult yeah. part. Okay, okay, I'm like, okay, for real. Like, no, this that's is, true. I'm dead there. This is, yeah. yeah, without joking, it is like this. So, what do you do when, when you get terribly lost? Like, meaning, like, okay, you're so tired that you don't know what to do, what to practice on, or do you have, like, a plan of, of what to practice every month or, or every week? Well, we try to see our coaches as regular as we can, so we constantly have something to improve and develop and then practice. So there's always, there's never a gap where we feel like, oh my God, we don't know what to do. And we have all these amazing videos from oh, Ballroom yeah. Backstage, where we can really study our movements and, really? and see every detail. In the slow motion. Right, so we know exactly what's going on, right? Thank you for the compliment, though. So, but listen, tonight I see you very excited to see the amateurs. Yeah. And that was so interesting because uh, you coach them, you coach few of them. Real, real, real. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, how, how does that work with you traveling all the time? Well, whenever we're in town, of course, we get in touch, and then uh, if they need any help, we're here always. And uh, it's just interesting to see how they developed while we was not here, you know, and just support. Because I remember when I used to dance, for me it was so important if somebody come Camping from, you know, coaches, my yeah. coaches or somebody in the room who I would like to, to see or I don't know, yeah. So that awesome. means a lot. So right now we try to give back a little bit as well to the ballroom dancing. Yes. Not only take, take, but also to give something. That's awesome. By the way, I wanted to mention your your shirt, competitive shirt. Is that from Stash as well? Yes. Everything. It looked amazing. I loved it. Really, so I loved much. it really. And I've noticed like uh, in the room, a couple of guys actually are wearing Stash too. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, like I'm impressed. So you're really coming towards the US more too. Uh, well, yeah, brand. we're getting more and more popular in US, especially somehow in the men uh, part, yeah. in the men's clothes, which is great. And uh, yeah, Darren's shirt from yesterday actually was inspired by Tom Ford jacket. Yeah, so it's actually uh, we got an idea from this jacket, and that's this how it's cool started. cool kind of wet look. Yeah, we stole it from Tom. It's okay. So listen, your schedule uh, for the next couple of weeks is crazy, right? Yes. Like you told me you do, you're going to Holland. Yes. Uh, just go. Holland on Saturday is the Dutch Open. Then we'll be in London training for a week leading up to the World Championship, uh, which is in Vienna, and then we're back in LA. And then Texas, December. and then back in LA. You know what, guys? I wonder how do they wash the clothes? Uh, really, like how how do they do your laundry? That's uh, uh, that would be an, that's, another that's topic. Part of the day's exercise. You get in there and you wash everything. <laughs> Instead of the gym. Yeah, it's on, the and on, the on the plane. On the plane. On the plane. On the plane. thing, you know. <laughs> exactly. Ladies and gentlemen, how do we do this for championship 2022? Guys, don't forget to check YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook.